Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Gerald. Today I'll walk you through the differences between the Monopod V2 and the Monopod Pro. What are the differences and why you would choose one over the other? Let's start with the Monopod V2. The first one, the obvious one, is the Monopod V2, including a soft case inside, the tripod, Monopod V2 tripod with anti-slip rings, the counterweight V2, 400 grams, and the lanyard with a quarter inch screw to hold your camera as an extra accessory. Moving on to the Monopod Pro, with a new casing, design in the front, with a red strip all around it. The red strip is for all our Pro products. It comes in a travel bag. Here's space for the Popeyes, if you do have uh, Popeyes or extra accessories in the bundle. The Tripod Pro with the anti-slip o-ring, of course. The Counterweight Pro, 500 grams, anti-slip o-ring on top and bottom, and of course, the Monopod Pro. When you will receive your Monopod Pro, each element will be fixed with these Velcros that we add in each travel bag. So when you do need to travel with it, you attach everything and nothing gets destroyed or nothing gets damaged with transportation. You can shake it, everything will be perfectly protected. All this is padded and your gear stays well protected, no scratching, and you'll feel much more comfortable traveling with this around. So moving on to the tripods, this is the tripod V2, open at its lowest position, and the tripod Pro. Let's open it at the lowest position. Here it is. The two footprints of each tripod, this has a smaller footprint than this one, which is good, but for stability, you want a larger, longer legs. This is why on the Pro, it has longer legs. Then both of them have O-rings, anti-slip o-rings. On the Tripod Pro, you will find female quarter-inch threads so you can attach other elements on each of the three sides of the tripod. So both tripods have different uh, opening, two positions. On the V2, it is a rotation. Rotate it once, it has the low position. Come back, rotate it again, and it has the higher position. Same thing with the Tripod Pro, but it has buttons. Much more tension and you can better fit the ground that you're shooting on. On the Tripod Pro too, when it is flat open, each leg sits flat and flush to the ground. So for example, when you do add the Popeyes, they can be flat on the ground and they will stick to the metal surface. At the end of each leg of the Tripod Pro, you have a female quarter inch thread so you can attach other accessories to it in addition to the side mountings. Other details on the Tripod Pro is details such as a quarter inch thread under the tripod so you can increase the counterweight and stability which is very important when you're shooting. I recommend putting the counterweight on the bottom which lowers the center of gravity. You put your Monopod Pro on the top and when you're done shooting simply fold the legs upwards and it takes less space. Another feature you can find on the Tripod Pro is the side mounting. You could very well put extra battery pack to power up your camera. You could add a microphone or here I'm using a bender and a monkey clamp. Attach it to the side and you can have extra mounting for your monopod setup. If there's wind you can go and attach the monopod to this. The two counterweights, this is the V2 and this is the Pro. Both have quarter inch female thread on the top. The V2 is a simple basic 400 grams stainless steel with a female thread on the bottom and a quarter inch male thread on the top. The Pro has so much more. 500 grams anti-slipper ring on the bottom with four female quarter inch threads on the bottom with different angles. 10 degrees, 25 and 45 degrees with of course the natural one, which is the 90 degrees for a vertical position. There's two anti-slip O-rings, one on the bottom, one on the top. In addition, it comes with a groove for the passage of a cable if you're doing live recording or you want to slip the cable in the counterweight and not be visible in your shot. The monopods, here is the V2 and here is the Pro. 
Essentially, they're the same thing. Five black aluminum sections. They serve the same purpose, is to hold your 360 camera or your GoPro or other camera that you have on top with maximum of stability. The V2 serves the basic function of shooting in a vertical position and holding your camera up with the five different sections. The Pro does the same thing, but better. Let me explain. On the Pro, you have anti-slip O-ring for your camera when it's mounted and it's shaking, it will not loosen itself. Each section of the monopod has anti-slip O-ring, for example, I'm sure everybody has encountered this. The section falls and you have your finger right in between. For example, on the V2, you have your finger here and you will get pinched. And if you do have your finger right there, you will feel it at the end of your tip. On the monopod Pro, it has the anti-pinch O-rings, so if it does fall, you don't feel it as much. Another important feature is the side mounting. Here is the extra ring that can rotate, that you can tighten, and it has a quarter inch thread. On the bottom of the monopod, has a quarter inch thread too. So for example, if you want to do side mounting, both these rings are absolutely flush. So when they're flat on the surface, they are perfectly flat. Put two magnetic Popeyes and you can have it flat on a metal surface. It will hold very tight. I did do a specific video on the Monopod Pro with more details. If you did want to see it, it will be linked in the description below. The Monopod V2 comes with a soft bag, so you can always put it away and keep it protected. The Monopod Pro comes in a hard case for better traveling. It is better protected and extra case to put your camera. In the Monopod V2, we did add a little feature, a little detail, is the lanyard. I found it really cool, so I wanted to add it on the Monopod. So here you have the quarter inch camera screw that you put on your 360 camera. If you're traveling around and you want to carry your 360 camera, I like the lanyards because with a camera screw, you just hook it up and put it around your neck and it's easy to travel about. In addition, you can easily unclip it, go out, shoot your shot. You're done. Put the camera back and you don't need to put it away every time in your bag. Why should you choose a Bushman monopod? Quality and stability. Stability is very important because you don't want your camera to go crashing down to the ground. If you're a casual user, then I recommend you use the V2. First of all, because it's more affordable. For a casual user, that might be plenty enough for you. It will serve a good purpose. It will last long and all the parts are replaceable. As a professional, I would strongly recommend the Monopod Pro because its features allow you to be much more creative in your 360 shoots. That's it guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.